What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy Will back with another video. Now, today, 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 we are going to be discussing the Browns picking up Isaiah McGuire, um, edge rusher out of Mizzo. I'm pretty sure he's out of Missouri, but um, a 6'4", big guy. Um, he's an edge rusher now. We thought that the Browns was going to buff up their interior D-line and their D-line as they should with only, you know, um, double O and Miles Garrett out there. That's, I mean, double O is not even a proven commodity, if we want to be honest. And Miles Garrett is the only proven commodity, the best edge rusher in the league. So, in order for Miles to not get quadruple teamed, we need to bring in and bring up other people. Um, so, we started off by drafting Isaiah McGuire. Now, Isaiah McGuire is 6'4", 21. Um, he had an 82 pass rushing grade from PFF, and I'm seeing a 74 run defense grade. So he's one of those, like, you know, bendy guys, not as big, kind of like more of those flexible um, type of edge rushers, rather than like one of the big stocky edge rushers. Um, it looked like they're kind of going for, like, cleanup guys almost, if you know what I mean. Like, we had Jadavion, uh, we had Olivier Vernon, uh, who else we had? We had... Not Aziz Ojolari. What was his name? He played. He went to the Bengals, but had that guy. So now with bringing in another guy like similar to Clowney's build um, with Isaiah McGuire, and we have Double O, and those two are pretty much the same type of edge rusher build. Now my expectations, I don't know, man. I would feel a lot more comfortable as a Browns fan. If we were going through and we had double O in like that Tack McKinley role, if you guys remember how Tack was, we had Tack McKinley. Um, yeah, if we had double O in that Tack McKinley role, and then we had McGuire like sub in double O, and then we had a, a sort of like a, like a starter with a, a suitable name that everybody know, like, um, like the guy from the Chiefs, I think he's still out there. I can't think of his name again. But if we brought in a guy like that, um, like somebody that's known, like a Jadavion Clowney, but Clowney ruined. I mean, we could have easily just brought Clowney back again, but Clowney ruined it. Um, I don't even think that's something we could repair um, after what he went out and did. But and then I don't even think we need him in our locker room. We got a lot of younger cats out there now with Double O, Ikea, Perion. I don't think we need somebody like that. They might he might get in Dawn Johnson Jones. He might get into their head. Um so we'll need an edge rusher. Um now I'm gonna go on a separate video and go out and just think of the new candidates that we could bring in. Um but I think we need one or two more guys to beef up on that line. Cause I would rather have McGuire and um double O come in as rotational pieces rather than waiting and like planning on them to be starters if you understand what i'm saying like we're pretty much hoping they live up to potential and it's a high chance that that don't happen you know and I, i'm trying to be realistic and try to think of all our problems that we can incur i feel very very strong and happy with our secondary um i feel like our secondary hold up i believe in martin i believe in greg i believe in denzel jlk a walk taki taki delpit I believe in those guys, but outside of Miles and Thomason, like where else are we getting help at on the D line? I feel like we need at least one more guy. Now, would you guys rather us bring in an edge or a DT prospect? I feel like if Perion remains on the roster, I'm happy and cool with Perion starting and Taki uh, Aki or yeah, Saki. Siaki. I, I gotta learn how to say his name. Y'all tell me how to look. <laughs> Siaka. Ikea, uh, backing up Perion and then having Jordan Elliott rotating in there as well. And then maybe we go and get like a guy off the streets on a vet man. I'll be cool with that if we got another edge rusher. I think we need another edge rusher. Get like a guy on like a $6 million deal. Definitely because we didn't go and get, excuse me, we didn't go and get one of those guys in the draft. We went up and prioritized wide receiver and got Cedric Tillman. I'm going to do a video on him as well coming up soon. Uh, I just recently dropped a video on Dewan Jones, and um, the other video I did was on Ikea. So you guys go and check those out. 
Um, I just started this channel out, so it's kind of a brand new thing for me doing Browns content, but I've been a Browns fan, listening to Browns channels the last three years. So if you guys want to lock in, tap in, and hit that sub button, I need a little bit more subscribers. I'm trying to hit 10 subscribers before summertime. Uh, but I'm going to be doing these videos consistently, so you, I mean, I should hit that very easy as long as I start getting some traction. Um, but back to McGuire. So he's good at rushing the passer. I don't think that's a problem. Um, he's not like extremely freaky athletic. Um, now he is fast. Um, his split times and his 40 times was up to par. Um, he had about 13 sacks last season or was seven sacks. I think he had seven sacks last season. He was a junior. So I think he had seven sacks last season and then three and three or something like that. Well, he had a breakout year last year. Um, and then last year, that's why I said his run defense was a 74, which is eh, still good. Like almost like giving him a B, but his pass rush was a, a pretty much with that 82.0. He was giving a lot of people problems in record games. Um, this was also a guy that was projected to go to us at pick 78 um, in the third round. I think we got him in with the fifth or the fourth. So this is an awesome pick. That's one thing that says about the Browns, um, about their 2023 draft. We got a lot of high-talented guys late. You wouldn't even knew we didn't have a second or third round, I mean, a second or a first round pick. Like, we got um, Don Jong, uh, I can't, Dewan Jones. He was projected to go 11th to the Titans, and we got him in the fourth round. Cedric Tillman had a second round grade. We got him in the third. Whipler had a fourth round grade. We got him in the sixth. McGuire had a second round grade. We got him in the fourth. Ikea had a what, like a third round grade. We got him in the third. So th this is a good draft. Um, and this is a draft for the future. I want to go into Tillman and figuring out like, you know, what we can see on that. But McGuire and Mitchell, as far as with this draft, probably in Ikea. Well, I don't know. But I think McGuire and Mitchell have the most potential to see the most playing time this year. Uh, with, you know, us have being a little bit short at slot and nobody really want to play slot. And then we got a lot of room for improvement for um, our secondary edge rusher. But I think we definitely need to bring in a guy. And I'm going to do that and go through that on a separate video. But this is going to be my video on Isaiah McGuire. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Comment down below how y'all feel about this pick and how y'all think the Browns draft went. Um, I still got to go over Dorian or DTR. Uh, not wide receiver pick. That's probably the worst pick that I'm not too much of a fan of, but some people love it. I don't understand why I get in the back of quarterback, but I'll get into that on a separate video. Make sure you all comment down below. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the gang. I'm out. Peace.